What is up? Hello. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting that there's people already here. Um, Lee, Lily, Lily, Rebecca, ooh, Emariah, Emaria. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but Claire, <laughs> I see your last name or your real name. Um, Milan, I feel like I am just butchering names right now. Um, Rena, what's up, people? We are going to do um, plyometric drills today. So these are drills that really, really helped me uh, when I was a gymnast. And just to like jump higher, uh, also protect my body and use it properly. By no means am I a personal trainer. So of course there are other exercises that are also going to help you, but these are just some drills that helped me personally. So I hope it's going to help you too. What's up Jackie, Sarah, Tori, Rena, Gymnast Queen 87. What's going on people? I hope your week's going well. It's Wednesday. Um, my mom thought it was Tuesday today. And, you know, the days are getting all mixed together now. And some days I think it's Monday. Sometimes I think it's Friday. I feel like every day is Friday, to be honest. Um, I hope that you guys are pumped. We are going to get ready to do some of these plyometric drills. Also, if you haven't checked out, the Honestly Show is still happening. And also, I posted a new YouTube video. Yeah. Um, ooh, Rebecca, it's her birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, I have been trying to do more YouTube videos. I actually did a vlog today. I did a vlog this morning because I was really happy when you guys said you wanted to see some vlogs. Uh, and I forgot to record one of the cameras. I had two of them, but one of them didn't record. So that's how that vlog went because I haven't done vlogs in a very long time. But um, you aren't going to need anything like specifically, like any bands or anything like that today. But if you guys have a chair, <laughs> this chair keeps making like a big appearance. I should start giving it a name. Uh, the chair, you it would be very helpful if you had, have a chair or like a couch or anything that you can kind of like jump off of. We're not jumping off the chair onto the ground. I mean like squat and then jump. So we're going to just start with a very nice light warm up. We're gonna just do um, some jumping jacks, but I hope you guys are ready. Oh, someone said they just had a virtual workout with their gymnastics coach. Okay, well, hopefully you can save this for another day. If you're too sore, you know, you can always do this another time. But I hope you guys like this video and keep up with the channel too because there's just lots of videos that are coming out uh, during this time. So let's get started. We are going to start with jumping jacks because we are doing plyometric drills. So jumping jacks are a good way, the easy way that you can do it at home. And it's just a nice warm up. So we're just gonna go for however long. If you guys have music, you know how I feel about music. If you have music, I highly recommend you work out to the music because it is a lot better to work out to music. So we're gonna go high knees now. This is like my go-to warm up. As you can tell, I do this a lot when I warm up. We're gonna do some butt kicks. I'm actually fairly sore from dancing, <laughs> to be honest. And we're just gonna go with some light jogging just to warm up your ankles. Like so. Yeah. The other thing I want you to do is run here, side to side. So it's gonna look, I don't want you to, um, bend over too much. I do that because my knee is sore. So, uh, but I would like you guys to have your chest up when you're bending. So you're not putting as much pressure on your knee. So just a nice side to side. So basically what I'm trying to do in this video is we're going to practice, um, some exploding exercises so that you can jump higher. I felt like on floor, I had a lot of, um, power and it's to get you not so like flat footed when you're punching but to really use and point through your toes when you are jumping so you can jump to your full potential all right so continue with the jog you did your side to side we're just gonna do a nice stretch quickly so both arms forward and backwards Go both ways, cross arms, 
We're actually going to warm up our knees. So you're going to put your hands on your knees, boss little bounces. Then you're going to circle right, left, if you hear my knee. Guys, that is my arthritis that you are hearing. Very, very fun. So just nice bounces. And I want you to go all the way down to a squat. So you're going to just bounce up and down a little bit just to stretch those Achilles. And I want you guys to do 20 calf raises. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, another good exercise just to get ourselves warmed up. Hamstrings are super, super important for punching or anything like jumping. So we're just going to do what is called a march. Uh, so you're going to lay on your back. You're going to have your hips up and you're going to march one leg at a time. We're going to do this, hold it for about like 30 seconds just to get everything warmed up, making sure that you are not like lowering as you're marching, great exercise if you want to get those nice glutes too. All right, great. The other one that we're just gonna warm up are hamstrings, so just stretch those hamstrings nice. I think I'm sore from the split stretch we did yesterday, um, but again, just to get everything nice and warmed up, doing a nice butterfly stretch, Lean to one side, down the middle, lean to the other side, and we're just going to also stretch our um, quads. So we're going to go to our stomach, grab one foot, and stretch because we are going to use our legs a lot today, and I just want to make sure everything is nice and stretched before we start. So after this, we're going to go up into our ankle stretches. So all the way up here. So stretch your ankles nicely. And because a lot of the times like we're, we're not on a soft surface at home, you have to be very gentle about like how you're punching through the ground because it is very impactful and it's a lot of force and a lot of pressure. So just be careful if you are doing anything like bouncing. But I do want, um, you guys think about pushing through your toes like so. So you're going to do about 10 of those just to get your ankles warmed up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Okay. Check out your wrists. So we're going to start. It's called um, skiing or side to side. So basically what I want you guys to say, if you were to sit on a wall or a chair, because I can use this chair as an example, if you were trying to go down here, you want to think that this is the position you're trying to reach for. So you're really trying to use these muscles underneath. So it takes less pressure off your knee. I have learned this because I have arthritis in my left knee. So I definitely can feel it. Um, so we're just going to go side to side. And it's going to look like this. Push. Okay. Other side. Here. Push. You can hear my knee. It's so bad. So down here. Push. I'm come the other way. Here, push. So I want you to think about pushing. So you're gonna go down nice and slow, push. And you go down nice and slow, and then push. So it's gonna kind of be like one, two, three, push. And then the other side, one, two, three, push. And so you're gonna do that a couple more times. I can't do that as much because of my knee, but I wanna help you guys with these plyometric drills. So you guys can do that a couple more times. The other thing that's really helpful too are one, working on each leg individually. Um, here, I like to use a chair just because for balance reasons, but um, a lot of the times too, you can do it without um, anything, so you can balance on your own. But what I want you guys to do is basically, we're going to do 10, slow and then 10 fast so these are just ankle raises so you want to do them nice and slow up and up two three one 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 two three kind of lost count 
but we're gonna go nice and fast now. So you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you are doing the fast, keep an eye out for your ankle. I want you to go as far as you can all the way down. And I want you to just like stay down here and bounce because you're not really pushing through your feet. If you have a hard time, another thing you can do is sit on a chair and put a little pressure on it and really feel how far you're going through your ankles. Sometimes we used to do ankle raises like this and someone would sit on our lap and we would have to do these drills. Those are also very helpful, but I don't have anyone here to sit on my lap. Um, not today. So we're gonna do a single one on the other side. So we're gonna go up, two, three, up, two, three, up, two, three, up, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight. Ooh, nine, feel the bird. Ten. All right, and then we're gonna do ten fast ones as far as we can push. Ready? Right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. So another thing that's good for explosiveness are running drills. Um, a lot of the times I got these from just vault in general, or just um, learning and working with a lot of running coaches. Again, I'm not a coach, I'm just showing you what drills work for me. Uh, so we're just gonna go and pause right at the top, and I want it to be very dynamic. So if, if someone was clapping, like, boom, 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 that's kind of what I want it to look like, is a very dynamic walk. So we're gonna do four of them, and I'm gonna go one, we're gonna do it one more time. So ready? So you wanna go opposite arm, opposite leg, and however like you're running, but everything just nice and tight. If you decide to have an open hand, have an open hand. If you decide to have a fist, have a fist, but have everything really tight. So ready? And one, two, three, four. Great. So <laughs> it may see, seem simple, but we're actually practicing fast twitch motions. Um, the other one, what we're going to do is a hop all the way to releve. So it kind of looks like this. It Again, it may look simple, but actually what we're going to challenge you today to do is hold it at the top. That is the challenge for today. So we're going to do a hop to the top, hop to the top, hop, and hop. You ready? Okay. So. We're gonna go all the way up to real big. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Great. So that also helps with quick twitch motions. These help so much, um, especially those when I was doing um, just plyometrics or tumbling or any of that stuff. And it really helps with your just explosiveness. We're going to do it one more time because I like to do it twice. So ready? We go one, two, three, four. Great. Okay. I hope your ankles are nice and warmed up. Um, we are now going to do what's called a lunge hop. So you can, we're going to warm up with just some basic lunges. I'm going to have a hard time with this because my knee, um, it has taken a beating over the years. So I'm going to do my best to show you what it looks like. But basically I want you guys to lean lunge backwards instead of forwards just for now. So lunge back. Can you hear my knee? Listen, that's my knee, guys. So I'm gonna do it on one leg <laughs> so I don't hurt my knee any further. So it'll look like that. So this is what I want you guys to do. And I want you guys to do like 10 on each leg. Um, yeah, my knee is, pew, I don't even know if there's cartilage in there anymore, which is why I think it's making such a big sound. But I'm gonna show you a drill that really helped me when I was gymnast for single leg exploding. So what you wanna do is come down from here and basically like that running drill we were doing, hop all the way up to the top, all the way from a lunge. So this is a really good drill because um, it's going to help you get explosiveness off one single leg here, just like that. So you can do a couple of those, see how um, fast you can go. The other thing you can do is think of it as a leap, 
hop with your right leg or left leg forward and straight so you're hopping and then end like so. Those drills I always did with a block. Um, a lot of the times like I have a block and I would like push off the block just so I didn't have to go for my knee. But since you're at home, we're just being creative. But these are perfect ways if you're practicing like your switch leap or like a leap up or if you just want to practice really strong single leg exercises. So another one could look at that. So stuff like that, very, very simple, but also very um, important and, and very effective too. So the other one I'm gonna show you is, these are called chair squats. These ones are great. Okay, so I actually showed my mom this one and she's been practicing them and I think her vertical has been getting better. But basically you're not allowed to use your hands because hands are cheating if you get up. Basically I want you to have your hands on your hips and sitting on a chair with your, oh, hello, telephone, um, <laughs> with your knees at a nice right angle. This is when you know it's a real live. Oh, it's my dad. Um, it's a real life, so, you know, uh, things happen around the house. Okay, so you're gonna go from your chair squat, hands on your hips, and you're just gonna come up with really good intention, squeezing your butt at the top. So here, I want you guys to keep this nice right angle because I don't want you to be here and push through your knees. I want you to be here and use everything properly. So here, up, squeeze your butt, and then back down. So the next step for this is actually jumping, and I want you to jump straight up here, jump, and then you can either sit back down or jump straight to the ceiling. This is really fun because you could see how high you can jump. One, day, one time I did slow motion camera with like me, my mom, and my aunt, and we like jumped to see how high we could get. So this is kind of fun if you have like any siblings or parents, you guys all sit in a row in a chair, have the camera going, do the slow motion, and just jump to see how high you can go. Please send me that video if you um, take that video because I would love to see the jumping competition, especially after these. So. We're gonna do it a couple more times just because you can do it way more times than me. Just because of my knees, I can't do it as many times. But we're gonna go to see how high we can jump. Jump! And then squeeze, squeeze your butt. Great, I'm gonna do it one more time. But please, if you would like, do it a lot more times. It's just, you, I think you can hear my knee crunching. I kind of wanted to do an ASMR of exercises. So I thought that'd be fun. Ready? Jump in here and squeeze. Good job. All right. So the next one, since we are not on a um, in a gymnastics gym, I don't want you hopping on the ground because the ground is really hard and it actually takes a toll on your body when it is the hard surface. So I'm just going to take this chair again. And basically what we're going to do are little hops with me kind of using my arms on the chair, just because, I mean, you can do single leg hops on the ground, but since there's no give, it's gonna like take a toll on your joints too, which we don't want you to be like more injured by the time you do gymnastics. So basically what I want is we're gonna do like, you can put the timer on like 20 seconds, 10 seconds, we'll do a 10 second countdown, but it'll just single leg hop. So we'll go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Great, other side. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great, so I don't want you also thinking about bending your knee hopping. I want your knee to be like fairly straight and really think about all in the ankle. Um, we are going to end it with, I know like squats are a big reason of just jumping and all that stuff. But a lot of the times I find it's really working on those muscles of like hamstrings, but, and even those running exercises really helped my explosiveness and those marching walks really helped. But I do want to do like a wall hold. So basically what you're going to do is find a wall, go down and sit with your knees at a 90 degree angle. This is just gonna help you work those muscles. And I want you just to do 
slight bounces. So we're gonna hold this for about 30 seconds. I actually don't have a timer. It looks funny, like at the end, I look like I'm one with the chair. So we're just doing a nice chair hold. What you can do is if you have anything you wanna hold, oops, I'm sorry, bowl. You can do this so that you're working your abductors, but this is a great way to just use a fast twitch firing muscle, slip, wait, and then just hold it in bounce. This looks kind of weird, but I don't want you holding it and working your muscles. I want you to like keep moving and working your muscles at the same time. Um, another thing we're going to end on a simple exercise and that's just basically how high can you jump? We worked on the chair jumps with our hands on our hips. We worked on a wall sit. We worked on hamstrings with like the hamstring walks. So now you're able to use your arms. You're able to jump. We push through the ground with your feet on the floor. So now we're gonna see how high can you jump? I have like up here, I'm just gonna end with like five jumps. But what we can do is take a video of you at the beginning of the day, at the end of the day, this might tire you out, so you actually jump, your jump might be lower because you're doing a lot of drills, but over time it'll help you with um, your jumps. So I'm just gonna end with my one jump. Ready? Use my arms up and then down. So I like to push and not like squat and then jump. If you squat, that's using a lot of muscles. I like to think when I jump, I'm squeezing my butt and using my arms as momentum, but you still, the further you go down, the higher you have to like bring your body up, which is really hard. And when you're tumbling, staying straight, up tall, and like exploding off the ground is what you want to think of. Also, a lot of people don't think of this. Think of your ankles. You want to really think about pushing off your ankles, which is why we did those drills with the one-legged hops, the two-legged hops, and um, just single leg exercises. But also those lunges to here are going to help like tremendously because we don't have like a block or anything where we can like push off. So we're just gonna push off of the ground. But we're gonna do one more final jump all together. Ready? We're gonna go five, four, three, two, one, and jump. Great. You stuck it, you stuck it. Yay. So <laughs> that is um, basically my little bit of lessons of how I had some plyometric drills that really, really helped me when I was a gymnast. Oh, someone just asked me, how's your lockdown? My lockdown's going well. I think it, it comes in waves where I'm like emotional, not emotional, emotional, not emotional. Uh, today I'm not emotional, which is good. Um, but over the weekend, it was really hard. I think cause I had come to terms that it's going to be like a while for this lockdown. And I just hope that, you know, we are going to get to a point where everything levels off and we could like see everyone again. But um, if you guys want to do, we're going to do a live on Friday, which is a TikTok dance or just a dance in general. I've been uh, working on that. So it's coming soon. Um, please let me know again what you guys want to see. I saw a lot of handstand stuff. We did do a press to handstand drill. Um, we can practice like a couple more things if you guys like. But I really, really appreciate um, you guys listening, tuning in. Someone said, what is this jump for? So this jump is basically like just to improve your, your vertical. Um, the one way you can measure it is go up to a wall, put your arm on the wall, put a tape line where your hand is, and then jump past it. And whoever that line is, put another tape line. You could measure the distance between that then, then every day you can kind of like jump to that same wall and see if you jump a little higher. So if you guys do this, these drills, I hope that they help you. Again, there are lots and lots of other drills out there too to um, like help you out too as well that also help you with explosion and all that stuff. So these are just exercises that help me. Ah, oh, someone said how to split. So I actually did a tutorial on split progression. So I hope you check that out because we did a live um, yesterday on splits. So I hope you go check it out. Um, Penguins, I will see you guys very, very soon. I love you all so much. Please stay safe. And I hope this keeps you motivated, motivated. And I hope this helps you too, because 
I really hope it helps you guys. I just, you know, I just think we're all in this together. So uh, I love you all. And I will see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. PST and 5 p.m. EST. Bye, guys. Love you. <laughs>